other day I did say I was waiting for an eBay for these cars. Now, what's happened is I got four, these four, I, the boxes are still in the stack, the, the, but, but they were like this, all ripped up and the pictures torn off. So, what I did was I took the good boxes and had a look in these. Now, I'll show you, I can't show you this one, but this one came in um, pink plastic, which is the original one. What was in, actually in this box was this one, which is, which is all black that came from Dipole. Here, like this. So what I've done is I've put the black Dipole one in here. And I left the instructions in here as well, so I'll put that in there. But the picture is bad. This is the one I'm gonna build. The pink one that I had originally with this, I put into the good box with the instructions and I'm gonna sell this one on. This will sell. Nobody wanted these ones because the boxes are all bad and the collectors want the good boxes. So that's what I've done. I'm gonna be sell this one on eBay to get some money back. I will get a lot back for that as well. So until until I do the review, you you probably won't see these. Here again is this is this is the original that came uh, from uh, McGowan Gal McGowan or whatever. Those manufacturers. It's white plastic with black wheels. Sorry, white plastic with black wheels. You see? Now the one I've got is actually all grey in a good box. So I'm gonna swap these over and put this on the sale pile as well. And uh, I should get quite a bit more money for this than these here. Because these were only $4.99 for four of them. I am very happy with that. £1.25 each. Uh, uh, well, I had a little bit of postage on top of that. So those are the ones we're going to be building. Model 4T and the uh, International, which you should get quite a bit of money for. And the Cadillac. Was the other one and there's another one here somewhere oh yeah and the other Cadillac the two Cadillacs Model T Ford and the International all these have been replaced with good kits inside uh, the right kits inside and nice boxes on them so I'll be able to sell these ones on eBay okay after that disaster of uh, the pink I managed to strip it off uh, I've got most of it off, um, there's a few places where it's still on, I can't get to it unless I break the part off, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, but most of it's gone now, uh, it's back to the original um, white, well it's now pink, um, but uh, it's still a good base to put me red on. So I'm just about to spray this up now, I've done all the parts, I've just got to get around as we spray them all again. So. See in a bit. Okay, I've got it painted now. I'll bring it closer. It is a nice deep red now. Company, thank you very much. Uh, every time I start talking to the camera, he comes in. So it's a nice bright red, a very cherry red. But I don't mind that because I've got a couple of cars to do, well maybe three, and I could change the shade of the reds around a bit. I can put some orange with this one and make it more of a fiery red um, one or i put some yellow in it and make it a bit more orangey uh, do it that way and maybe put some other shades in it as well just to change the shade of the red so I don't have too many bright red cars there are a lot of old cars that are red so uh, I'm getting on and doing a bit more to that and uh, I am going to be doing a bit of my tiger as well soon so you should see that I've also painted the wheels this time, I've done the centres of them rather than the, the outside wheels first. Um, <coughs> slightly different technique, but not much for one. Uh, it means a lot more masks, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got to have eight masks for this, but that's not a problem. I can get, for, I can get, 
I can get three or four out of a label, so that's no trouble at all. Um, and uh, pop them on, but it's it's actually <coughs> it's actually getting them lined up right. That's the only thing about them. Uh, the other way is much easier. You just pop it in. It's the same place every time. You see, but uh, I'll go ahead and just do the outside wheels. As they are. Um, what else is there? Oh, uh, the chassis I've done already as well. That's that's ready to go in. Um, the seat is. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to put that on yet. I've got some black lining to put on this one and this one, and I've got to blacken out the. Uh, I need a gloss black uh, mud guards on this as well. Uh, but what I also need to do is get that wheel, that uh, um, flywheel in here. There's actually uh, a couple of um, location marks here, right near where that um, pin goes in here. Uh, I believe that may be where the, uh, the flywheel actually should go. Uh, I'm not certain about that, but I think it is, and it's about the right place. Uh, when you look through, you can see the, the, uh, the flywheel underneath, and I will put that in. I'll have to make that up from scratch, though. Uh, but that's the only real mod I'm doing on that particular one. Uh, a lot of these, they come with flat beds on the back. If you look at the real things, they've actually got a um, railings around the back of this as well. Uh, but I'm not going to do those. Uh, I'll, I could do with them with photo etch, and I don't have anything left to do me do me etching with. So, or oh, well, me, it's etching, not photo etching. But uh, I have to draw draw them out, or what I have to do is print them out uh, on to sheets, and then that sheet gets stuck onto the. Uh, piece that I'm going to etch and then that's put into acid and etched through. Um, it's not very good for fine stuff but I can do it. Uh, but it takes too long, it just takes too long. It could take two, maybe three days to etch through a piece of brass. Um, copper's easier, copper's a lot quicker. I used to make copper circuit boards for electronic uh, components that I needed or uh, the boards I needed for the components to be fitted on. Uh, but I, I'm running out, I've run out, well no I've run out of that stuff, sorry I have run out of that. Um, the only other thing I'm going to want to put on here is, my mate's birds, I've got them washed off now, all the, all the gunk off them, all the green slime and that the way of them. I've given them a coat of car primer white as well, and I just used a can up on these ones. There's only a little bit left in the can, but they'll do for these ones. I could get on with these and get them painted up and out of the way uh, for me, mate. Oh, uh, he'll have a nice little uh, bird surround on this table. He's got. I've started doing the black on here because um, he wants them as the bluebirds, the same as what I've or done already. He liked that, so he's he asked me to do them the same. Well done. Uh, the first first one is. Uh, I've done so far is I've put the black shading on it. I've done the black around the headset. Okay. Uh, do, I don't want to do anything last night. I was a bit too tired. So what I did was I actually finished off the birds for me mate. Um, he'll be pleased with these. Hopefully he will be. If he's not, he gets some chuck to him. Uh, <laughs> all I've got, uh, there's had a couple of coats of gloss varnish. I've got to put some matte varnish on them. Uh, just mat them down again. Um, once I've done that, I can give them to him. So they're finished and out of the way. So, on with the next bit. Mm -hmm. 